How we going guys? The Luke Gamer over here and welcome to my full set of the Destiny Puff Finals all the way to the figurines. In this video over here guys, I want to show you the new uh, Puff Finals that um, Destiny actually got us. As we can see over there, I got Gold. The next one over here guys, I got Ikora. And the one on the left over here, I got Zavala. I'm really excited to show you guys how these look like and even compare them to the previous Zavala's, Ikora's in my collection over here guys but if you guys really enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up because i want to show you guys more destiny loot as you guys can tell over here lord saladin the hunters the warlocks at the back i'm really really in love with this set and of course to top things up the really cool destiny controller if you guys want to see the full review of these bad boys i'll leave the link in the description in case you guys want to check it out but let's check out these three over here zavala let me get some gold action over here and of course some Makora action. The first one that I want to box and show you guys today is Gold. Looking at Gold over here, guys, as we can tell, the packaging is pretty, pretty simple. Not too detailed. They put a bit of imagery on how it actually looks like on the left side over here, as we can tell. Gold in his glory over here. Imported by Canada. Sorry, imported into Canada, uh, which is really nice to see. Electronics Boutique Canada. So these obviously came from Canada, guys. Looking at the back over here, we got some more imagery of Gold. Looking no crazy and, and beautifully attractive, <laughs> which is pretty weird, of course. We're looking at the other side, this is imported by the same place. On top here, we have the Destiny logo. At the bottom over here, we get some more bungee imagery. Let's open up this goal over here. Let me get my trusted knife to make sure it's nice and uh, smooth. Let's open that up. Let's check out goal in his glory. Let's just see how this looks like. All right, nothing else inside the box. Let's open this here. As you can tell, guys, a lot of padding for his sort of um, wings over here that I'll put just in a second. Let me put that down. Looking at this part over here, as we can tell, we gotta get rid of these wires at the back. Thankfully, it's not as hard as Lord Saladin. That was a bit of a mission to take out all the wires on him. Let me open this up. And all cool. All done. Let's take out some gold. Let's have a look at the detail of this pop vinyl. I really like the paint job they did on his gun over here. He was a bit of a disappointment, to be honest. He was pretty easy to kill, but look at that. I reckon they did a pretty decent job. Look at his veins on his head. Obviously not the best paint job, but I guess it's worth the paper of $18. Of course, guys, this is in Australia. So I'm assuming in the US, it'll probably be about what, like $10 or something? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, it made his feet look as dirty as possible. Looking at the back over here, nice and plain and simple. Let me put on his, uh, his wings over here or his cape. Let's open this up. All right, all done. Let me just install this to his back. As you can tell, pretty easy to put on. You gotta make sure it lines up just like that. Let's just put that inside, just like that. It's all in now. His wings are all there. Go looking all pissed off. Easy installation, guys. The paint job of the wings were done really well. I really like it. Let me, let me put him on top over there. If he's gonna balance, and yes, he is. Next, guys, let's check out Ikora. My personal favorite because she is a warlock and I am a warlock in my playthroughs. In case you guys want to add me, I am Lani. I actually played through uh, the, the Battle Steam Network over there. Sorry, the Battle Net Network. In case you guys want to check me out. I'll leave my uh, my, my tag at the bottom in the uh, description over there. Having a look at the core over here, as we could tell. We could see her there, Warlock Vanguard. Other side is some more imagery. The back, the same thing. Some more imagery there. Let's open this up. All right, there's no sort of um, wires attached to her, I guess. Ooh, no, no, there is actually. Didn't see it. Let's open these wires up. Fine, right, let's take this off. Bam! I really like this one. I really, really like this one. This thing can come out, which is a bit, a bit difficult. Oh, she came off. 
her stand, but of course we are given a free stand, which is nice. And of course there's a hole in her foot that we could just attach the stand to. But I really like this one. I really, really like this one. The detail in this compared to the other one, I reckon is much better. Look at that. The paint job on her gun is really well done. I reckon they could have done a bit of a better job, of course, on the legs over there. I feel like there's a bit of a paint smudge. They didn't really pay much attention to detail there. But I really like the way they actually did her face. I really like that. Even her attire at the back here. Not bad at all. I'll show you guys a comparison between the other Ikora compared to this one. But I really like this one. Really, really like it. Minus the pants. But let's check out the next one. Let me put a Cora over there. Of course, Zavala, the one that we do all of our weekly strikes at. Let's have a look over here. Zavala, Titan Vanguard. The left over here, we get some more imagery of Titan. On the other side, some Z Z uh, Zavala action over there. The back, Zavala looking all angry. <laughs> Let's open this up. All right. Let's remove the box. Any wires at the back? Yep, we've got a couple wires here. Let's install these wires, guys. Let me know if you guys want me to get the uh, the, the Gallohorn. The Gallohorn um, sort of replica. It's really nice, guys, but pretty expensive here in Australia. It's 240, but I'm thinking of getting it. But, but let me know if you guys want me to get it. Let me just take this off. Of course, the stand had to come off like, uh, like Ikora's did. But now let's have a look at Zavala over here. Let me attach the stand to his leg over here and see how that goes. Nice and easy. Not too hard at all. Perfect. Let's have a look at some Zavala action here. The face was done really well. That's one thing I do like about this paint job. Face done immaculately. Looks identical to Zavala. Really, really well done there. I really can't complain. Looking at his attire over here. I reckon it's much better than Ikora's, to be honest. Let's, let's just compare. Because Ikora's, as you can tell over there, um, her legs there was a bit smudged compared to uh, Zavala's. I reckon it's pretty better. The detail was put, you know, more into, more probably into Zavala than Ikora. But looking at his gun over here, really well done too. Looking at the back over here, um, his arm plate, which is really nice to see. Really well done. Looking at the back over here, the same thing. I like his sarong, really done. Really well done as well. I reckon that's pretty cool. I reckon these look pretty good. You know, these are the new Destiny um, pop vinyls, but I'm looking forward to seeing more of them, hopefully, if they do come. But I'll, of course, I will let you guys know as soon as they do. But that's, but that, but those are them, guys. Gold, Zavala, and Ikora. Let me just show you guys an overview of the full collection. So yeah, they are guys over here in the flesh. All three of these beautiful bad boys here. So as you can tell over here, Zavala, um, I reckon that they did a pretty good job at making it look as identical to this pop vinyl as possible and even to uh, the imagery over there. So I would say a pretty good job. What do you guys really think? Because I really honestly, if I had to pick between the new pop vinyl and the old one, of course, I would obviously pick the new one um, as, you know, it looks a bit more realistic in terms of, you know, uh, the armor and even the head. Of course, this is supposed to be big because that's just the styling. But um, for me, I really prefer the new one. I really like the way that one looks. Moving to Gold over here, um, as you can tell, the image of Gold there um, is pretty much identical to uh, the pop itself. But honestly, I think they could have done a better job in terms of the veins and even the, the textures of Gold's face. Because um, I feel it was a bit of a rush job compared to the image on the, uh, on the packaging here. But nevertheless, I reckon it's all right. Um, in, but what I do like, of course, is the fact that you're able to take this off, which is nice. But besides that, I do believe that Bungie could have done a better job in terms of making it look a bit more like Gold himself. Having a look at Ikora over here, um, you know, compared to the packaging imagery there, pretty much identical. Um, but I honestly do prefer the, this one over here. Like, you know, the fact that, that, that she actually has makeup on her eyes here, but none on the packaging. It's a bit different, I guess. But looking at this pot over here, I really do like the, the new one. It looks a bit more, you know, futuristic and realistic for me. Um, but looking at my full set over here, guys, as we could tell, uh, the Destiny controller that I've been wearing out pretty badly. Um, but I really do like it. But looking at the rest of my collection here, I would say uh, this is everything except for the Galahorn that I really do want. 
but I absolutely love this collection. But let me know what you guys think of it. Um, but I'm only missing uh, Crota, which was a Xbox exclusive in Australia, which is pretty disappointing because I don't have an Xbox. But I guess, you know, I'll probably just buy it off a of mail or something. But this is the video of the new Destiny Pop Finals. Let me know what you guys really think of it. I really think they are nice, but of course, a certain detail could be done better. But if you guys really enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and a like because I'll be bringing you guys more loot content this month. But Happy New Year, guys, and God bless you.